3-0 and against the Irish. Uh, I've been a fan of Jake Fromm since he was in high school. Saw him on QB1. I think he's a winner, very efficient quarterback. Georgia wins this game because of Jake Fromm. I got Georgia. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, if this game were in South Bend, I think it'd be a little bit more intriguing, the fact that it's here in Athens. I think the running is big in this game at the line of scrimmage. DeAndre Swift setting up eventually Jake Fromm, the run and the throw, and I can't wait to see George Pickens in this game, a young receiver at Georgia. Georgia takes care of business in a close game against Notre Dame. Jesus, UGA, UGA all week. Even on Sundays, baby, I'll tell you what, man, UGA, we're going to bring this home. They're going to put on for the city tonight. <laughs> like American Dream. Yes, sir. Uh -oh, oh, my God. God. There's a guy. Big dog. There's a guy. He doesn't know that. The big seller. Big dog. The big seller. Take a hey, spot, big Billy. Take a spot. One, one time when I was in Georgia, I did this. Watch this. Uh-oh. I would have gone to Georgia if I didn't go to Florida State. But that dog is ugly. Give me this thing here. Oh, 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 man. Ugly. Ugly. Wow. I oh. want to apologize for calling you ugly. I believe that. I have had a heavy heart ever since then. I hope my words didn't do anything to help you lose that game against Alabama. I want you to know I love you. And I want you to know I'm picking you to win this game. But I still think you're ugly. I still call him ugly. Just when you thought the team was going to make amends. Man, what a crowd we've had. Minor squad here. Jeezy with us. Thanks for being with us. Tennessee and Florida rivalry game. And for my money, Tonga, you're a damn good dog. Twins. <laughs> Sanford Stadium, the site tonight of one of the most highly anticipated games ever played here. The population of Athens, Georgia might be double what it would be on a normal night, but this is not a normal night. It's the Bulldogs and the Irish. This is what college football is all about. It's not often you get a matchup like this. Herschel running for people. There goes Herschel. Touchdown. The stadium bananas here. For the first time, here's Jake Fromm. The dogs have come to South Bend, Indiana, and painted the gold dome red and black. Book lofts it into the end zone. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Book hits Javon McKinley. A touchdown. Dog Nation taking over. DeAndre Swift to the house. Touchdown. Huge play there by Georgia. How about that? Touchdown, Irish. Are you kidding me? And he's going to be sacked by the Dogs' defense. Going to take it all the way. Easily into the end zone for the Irish touchdown. The stage has been set for Georgia down. And as my partner said, the stage is set. Dooley Field in Athens, where we'll have a record crowd. And the Home Depot, SEC on CBS, brings us between the hedges. The number seven Notre Dame Fighting Irish, the third-ranked Bulldogs of Georgia. They'll tangle between the hedges, outside the hedges. 93,246 will pack in here to watch this one. The buzz around this game implies that the outcome has a ripple effect on college football nationally. But what's matters to your guys is what you told them. What was the final message before you just hit the field? Control, emotion. No one play is going to win or lose this game. First quarter is not going to win or lose this game. How you execute throughout the game is going to win the game. Coach, thank you. Thank you. Good out. This is the largest crowd to ever watch a football game in this state. 75 degrees. It is perfect. Notre Dame won the toss. They want the football. 
Only the third meeting ever between these two teams. The aforementioned one two seasons back. And then the national championship win by Georgia following the 80 season in the 81 Sugar Bowl. These are back deep for Notre Dame. So many times a touchback. So they'll bring it out to the 25 yard line. And again, the jet sweep to Keys going right this time. And this time, Georgia plays the edge well, and DJ Daniels runs him out of bounds. Number four, can he make an impact? They're trying to get some heat on Book. Scrambles left and throws that way incomplete. It'll be a punting situation that was intended for Lawrence Keys. Fun to be around. Second out of four. Throws left and into some traffic to Robertson again. So Demetrius Robertson back to back receptions. Keep it on the ground. Tony Jones about a yard. That's it. Third and 14. Here comes a blitz. Book across the middle. Nice throw. Tony Jones is going to be short of the first down, but they got it all the way to the 31. And the ball goes through the hands of Book. And he's in a heap of trouble. Comes up firing and almost completes it to Lawrence Keyes. And Georgia will take over on downs. Blaylock, the freshman, was in motion. Pressure coming on from again. Throws and he completes it to Tyler Simmons. And it's a first down for the Dogs at the 47 yard line. You can play him any way you want. He's a winning quarterback no matter what you do. Tyler Simmons on the end of the round. And Simmons, positive yardage, and down almost 10 more. George Pickens, a freshman. Wide receiver got a good block out there for his teammate. Jake Fromm, four-man rush. Pressured, robs one. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. He was hit as he threw. Makes a guy miss and makes a first down. That's what you got to do. They give it to Jones on the sweep to the left side. Going for three or four. Is Tommy Tremble in motion. Play action. Screen goes oh, what to Davis. Play. And what a play it was by Tay Crowder. Thing to recognize the play. It's another thing to run it down before the Notre Dame offensive lineman can turn around and look for Crowder. He had split him and made the tackle. No chance for a pickup. Number seven and number three in Athens. Second quarter coming up in a moment. And at the 42-yard line with a first down. And Tony Jones looking for somewhere to hide. And actually loses a yard. That's Tremble, the tight end who is in motion. Ian Book throws, completes. Avery Davis, and he is all wrapped up by Devon Wilson. So he knows all about the SEC. And this is a good kick. Simmons has to call fair catch again and dropped it. Notre Dame's on top of it. Chase Claypool comes up with a football. Down and goal. About a foot away. The quick screen, and it's broken up by Georgia. They tried to get it to Claypool on a little slip screen, and J.R. Reed knocked it down. As a quick screen, that's very close to being a backward pass. Together. James Cook in motion. They'll try Swift again. And Swift trying to pop out the back side, and he did. And he got a first down. There's the best run so far for Georgia. Eli Wolf in that tight end for Georgia. Brian Herring gets the carry up the middle. And Herring got almost five. On the backfield and come back out of it. Fun. Scans the field. Throws complete. Caught Eli Wolf, who we just mentioned earlier, transferred over from Tennessee. And he's the transfer from Tennessee gets it and picks up the first down. That was a pinpoint pass by Fromm to get it in there to him. Swift trying to get to the edge. DeAndre Swift. There's one of his patented runs. Pick up a 12 and a first down. A bit of everything. Dominic Blaylock out in the flat with a reception. Got around to the edge. He's got a first down. Richard is in motion. Third down and nine. Fromm looking left the whole way. Back shoulder throw. Got it complete. And it's Lawrence Cager. First down. Tony Pride, number five. Cager to the outside. Got your best guy on him. They make a better throw than you're could. Nothing you could do. 
when you're playing bump and run to the outside, you're trying to clog every control. One penalty, illegal procedure penalty, was the only negative play. DeAndre Swift to the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. Yeah, let's see for sure if he gets into the end zone. I think when his knee touches the balls across the line. Ian Book throws across the middle, in and out of the hands of Fink, and might be almost intercepted it. And it's still loose. I'm not sure the ball ever touched the ground. To Athens, Georgia, a big underdog. They go to the locker room with a three-point lead over the number three team in the country. How about this? Well, a light show continues at Sanford Stadium, but the hometown Georgia Bulldogs not exactly lighting up the scoreboard. They trail as we get set for the third quarter. They will have the football first, but Notre Dame with a lead of 10-7. Front throws over the middle, complete to Cager, and that's good for a first down. Got it so far. First down. Swift, broken tackle. Trying to break another, and did. He'll get the call, trying to get to the edge. Got there, got the first down. Good run by Brian Harry. A first down. And it's an inside handoff, DeAndre Swift. Swift broke one tackle, little lazy leg got. Now, the decision. now it's decision time. That takes DeAndre Swift over the 2,000 yard mark career wise, and averaging over seven yards a carry, which is remarkable. And six. Book pressure from behind to get rid of it over the middle, incomplete in and out of the hands of Jones. The throw in and out of the hands of Fink and intercepted by Georgia. Devon Wilson's got it. He drops it. He's got it again, and it's out of bounds. I think it's Georgia ball. That thing was like a bar of soap in the shower. He had it for a first down, but the ball's behind. Yeah, you got to make that catch. It's a tough catch, but it's one you expect your senior captain to make. It would have been a good catch. And then it ends up being an interception to, to Wilson on the play. The bottom two on the clock, just in the nick of time. And here comes a full blitz. From throwing to the end zone, just off the fingertips of Demetrius Robertson. Yeah, see that? He got his hands on him. You might be right. I think that's incidental. Mm -hmm. that's, now, I'd, I'd really like to see what Gene thinks of this. To me, it's incidental. Rodrigo Blackenship will try a 40-yard field goal. He's perfect so far this year. He still is. Georgia draws even. Second down and seven for Ian Book. Book fires. That one was almost intercepted by J.R. Reed, and he would have had a touchdown had he held onto it. Ian Book across the middle, competes at the Keys. Keys trying to get to the sideline. He's going to be short, well short, of the first down. Three yard line. Georgia hasn't aimed one at George Pickett with their freshman receiver. Here's Brian Harrion into the secondary and into the 49 yard line. You know he's talking about it's to the top of the screen. Play action from deep out near side. Got it. Demetrius Robertson for another first down at the 31 yard line. Football on that outcome. Pick up a 19. Back to throw again. Looking for more. Scans the field. Crossing route. Brian Harrion might have another first down. He does. Just outside the 20. Two players involved. Number six goes down. And Ilya Gil Kehoe goes. Gilman says, get down. Aloy Gil, get down for the injury. And they were right. The fans were. That was not an injury. That was from the bench, the signal right there. Three wide outs and a tight end. Here comes everybody for Notre Dame. From Given Brown. Throws on the run to the end zone. Got it. No. Went out of the hands of Simmons. He had it and lost it. 
poked away. I can't believe Fromm got that much on that ball just to get it to that point. They were trying to go to DeAndre Swift that time. It was defended properly. They go Blankenship to try to give Georgia its first lead of the Knights. This will be a 31-yard attempt. He's six for six on the year. The kick is up, and it's perfect. And the dogs at home finally taking a lead in the ball game from the 26. They'll try this one. Patty Jones trying to pop it outside. Give him two or three more. Just a lead. Steve backfield. Ian Burke looking left, goes that way, throws, and that is short of the first down. Right as he caught it, he made the tackle, not an inch. Now they're going to say incomplete, I think. Yes. Devon Wilson's had a pretty good game in the secondary here. He sure is. He's the dime back. Might have moved up a little bit with the injuries. But number one right there makes the play. He's on the slot. He's got fake one-on-one. -on -one. He knows where the first down. Look at the squat. See those, those defensive backs are not moving back, especially on third down. James Cook in motion. He fakes the handoff. And here's Swift. And a hurdle into the secondary for DeAndre Swift. And another first down, Georgia. Right over number 20, Sean Crawford that time. Barely broke stride. I don't know if he was a hurdler in high school, but he could have been. That's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it is. DeAndre went into a wall. Now he got into the secondary. He's got another first down, spinning his way. That quarter. And now the cell phone lights will come out at Sanford Stadium and the four fingers will go up. Who will control the fourth quarter? Number three, Georgia, or number seven, Notre Dame? Stick around with us and find out. D lights go down, the red lights come out, and then the cell phones look like fireflies in the Georgia Knights. And that's the setup to set up our fourth quarter. 13 to 10, number three, Georgia leading. Number seven, Notre Dame. From the 46-yard line, Prime throws long left sideline. Got it to Cager. Matched up one-on-one -on -one with the outside with Crawford. Again, great coverage. Puts it in a spot not even a professional corner could handle. Back to the red zone and back to the air goes Prime and back to Cager he goes. For illegal touching, offense number 89. Number 89 was covered by a wide receiver. On first and 15. They keep it on the ground to Harry. Harry, a little juke move, nice move to the 15. Got some of it back inside the 15. Here comes the blitz. Here's the lob to the corner. Pickens. No. Down at seven. They could have called that. Third look. All out blitz. Fry lets it fly. Back shoulder. Cager. Touchdown. I think he got his right foot down. I think when he spun, he got his right foot Running on the down. field as a catch for a touchdown. That play is under further review. Fromm had, what, 60 yards passing at a halftime, 59. Now he's at 172. They've turned him loose. At home, 13-19 left. Their junior quarterback, who doesn't lose often, has got his team in command right now. Cover blitz. Tony Jones on the toss. He'll lose a yard. And it's a big one. Here's a flea flicker. Book getting chased. Throws on the run. And it is intercepted by J.R. Reed. He's had his hands on two other ones. He got both hands on that one. And an athletic move at the same time. Watch how far J.R. Reed is away from this receiver when he breaks on the ball. What a play by the leader of that secondary. J.R. Reed is right here. Watch how far he has to go. He's back, he's back, and then he starts to run. And he beats the pass there. You know Ian Book thought he had. His daddy was a great receiver in the NFL. 
Jr. looking pretty good with that one. Andre Swift behind it. And it's DeAndre. DeAndre Swift into the second level. And another first down. And now he's starting to close in on 100. From off the play fake. Throws down the middle and he throws a dart to Demetrius Robertson again. Third and ten. Pressure coming on from this time. And he's going to run it right up the middle. Takes a hit and another. And he's very close. If they give him the spot. Runner was short of the line of game. It will be fourth and one from the 26-yard line. This will be a 43-yard attempt, so a little bit deeper for Hot Rod. From the left hash. Wagonship from 43. Right down Lumpkin Street. They don't have time to waste anything. They got to play up tempo, not right from the start. Book quick slant, knocked out of the hands of the intended receiver Claypool. He took a shot. Richard LeCount. This Georgia defense is not backing up. No deep balls, nothing down the middle. And the safeties are jumping everything that comes in front of them right now. He kind of fell off of them and stuck his arm out. Book throws into some traffic. Came out in and out of the hands. So the tight end again, and J.R. Reed again was there. Frog dropped the ball. Now throws deep. And it's incomplete intended for Pickens. Camarda to punt. Fink is back deep. Oh, and another knuckleball of a punt. He almost missed that thing. From the Georgia 49. Low snap. Book handles it. Comes up fire and complete to Claypool. Out of bounds with a first down. Ian Book has to throw another one away. Get away from Claypool because he can win a 50-50 ball. He's at the bottom of the screen right here. This is the ball game if Notre Dame doesn't get a first down. Book's in trouble. Given Chase, he's just going to lay it up in the middle of the field. And it's knocked down by Georgia. D.J. Daniel got a hand on it. And you saw the exhale from Kirby Smart on the Georgia sideline. Jermaine Johnson, number 11, and Nolan Smith, number 4, forced Ian Book into a Hail Mary chance. He gets flushed right away. Nobody blocks Nolan Smith, number 4, throws it up, saves it for one chance. Claypool was out there, but he was double covered, and D.J. Daniel out of Griffin, Georgia, got that hand on it right there. Well, Notre Dame proved one thing. Everybody said they can't play with the elites, yes, and can. they played with the elites. Jake Fromm takes a knee. They'll come back into the conversation. Jake Fromm is 27 and 5 as the Georgia starting quarterback. He takes the final knee. And in front of 93,246, it's everything we expected, I think, and then some. It's funny, it's everything we expected and everything we didn't expect at the same time. <laughs> That's true. Jake Fromm's with Jamie. I can tell, Jake, you're just taking in the scene right now. How did this environment feel to play in? Uh, it's a blessing. Praise God. This is unbelievable. The atmosphere we've had tonight, the game we've played, it's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm so thankful to be on the field with my teammates, playing for Dog Nation. It's unbelievable. I'm so thankful. Two years ago, Kirby's dad told him that was a big win against Notre Dame. How big is this win for you? This is huge. This is huge. This is the first big, really home game. One that's been hyped up more than the normal. This is unbelievable. We're so thankful the fans came out. They helped us on third down a ton. This is unbelievable. We're thankful to be here. How did your offense start to click more so in the second half than any other part of the game? We knew we were close. It was the body blows. It was the physicality. We just kept hitting them, hitting them, hitting them. And they just finally just started wearing on it. And so we started, started being able to run the, uh, run the ball more. We started making plays, uh, throwing the ball. And it's just unbelievable. How happy are you that you didn't have to face your own team defense tonight? Because they were making some great tackles. <laughs> yeah, they're great. Uh, they're nonstop. They're relentless. And that's what they did. They came out and played tonight. Congratulations. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Wow. Coach, you just said wow. Why? 
That's what college football is all about, man. I, I hate that somebody had to lose that game because I got a lot of respect for the way they played and all the negative things they've heard and come out and play like they did. They played really physical as a team, and so did we. We persevered. I'm proud for our university. I'm proud for all the people in this community that support us. Just a great team effort. They tested you all the way down the stretch. What did your defense show you on that side of the ball tonight? A lot of perseverance. I mean, we got some guys on defense. We play a lot of players. Play a lot of players. Then we got 37 guys who play 25 or more plays, and they played hard tonight. A big win against Notre Dame two years ago. How big was this one? This is a big win because we had to come from behind. We got a lot of things to fix to get better down the road. But I'm proud of how our guys competed. You have butterflies right now about this win? No butterflies now. I had butterflies about five minutes ago. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Well, there's an honest answer <laughs> from a coach who just got a big, big win in non-conference play. Maybe the biggest non-conference game ever played in Athens. And Georgia holds on as the third-ranked dogs win it 23 to 17. We'll be back in Athens to wrap it up. Coming up short, that put him ahead to stay. And here's how Scott Howard called it for the Georgia Radio Network. Here we go again. All right, on third down, Fromm going to throw it for the corner of the end zone. Cager makes an adjustment, makes the catch. Did he get the foot in? Yeah! Touchdown, Lawrence. Cager spinning in the air, getting a foot in out of the side of the left corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Cager. Touchdown, Georgia. And they're going to be partying in Athens tonight. A lot of them just still hanging around, just enjoying the feeling of a win over number seven, Notre Dame. 23-17 the final. That's going to wrap it up for us. For Gary Danielson and Jamie Erdahl, Brad Nestler saying so long from Athens. Final score, Dogs 23, Irish 17. Don't forget, join us next week in Tuscaloosa for the Tide and the Rebels of Ole Miss. You've been watching the Home Depot, SEC on CBS. Good night for Athens. Crazy, SC don't like us. Coach Smart gon' lead the way between the hedges on game day. Defense gon' man up, DBs gon' jam up. Offense gon' run the ball, throw a play, S cause they ran up. Red zone, now we're going in. Fourth quarter, going for the win.